Hi, I'm Autumn Husky. I'm from SPU Gymnastics. Autumn team uh, had your fourth straight road meet. Seems like you've been on the road forever at Sacramento State. And uh, not the greatest team results, some real good individual performances. Just talk about that meet. Um, I think that we had gone into it a little bit of a struggle. We've had some team health issues. A lot of our gymnasts have been hurt. So just going into the meet, it was a little bit rocky. But I think that we were overall able to um, pull out some good individual performances. Um, Yuki on the beam, she did really well with her hand being broken. Um, she's, I know that she's been struggling a little bit um, in the gym trying to figure it out because at one point she was trying to learn back tucks with a cast on her hand. So um, it was weighing her down uh, one way versus the other. So she's had to learn a lot of like coping mechanisms and you know it's really hard to be four feet in the air and um, knowing you can't put your down your hand so she's been really great at that um, and then just a lot of people working through a couple injuries and it was amazing to see them push through them to pull out some good scores. Uh, you also had a real nice performance on the vault a 9.675 your best mark uh, here's a falcon uh, just talk about your vault. Um, so basically um, it felt pretty good because I've had some mental issues just running down the vault runway and I've had to fix that a little bit in the gym. I worked with a sports psychologist up here um, just figuring out when I get to meet situations how to like calm down and the adrenaline and it felt really good just to be able to go out there and hit it. I bet you mentioned adrenaline. I would think specifically with vault um, Kind of you have a little extra energy yeah. because of the crowd and all, and so you're you're going even faster or harder than you would in a meet. So you'd have to pull yourself back a little bit. Is that yes. how that works? Yeah, um, I struggled a little bit towards the beginning of the season with just running too fast on the runway. You know, your steps get messed up, and then all of a sudden you're not hitting the board in the right place. And so just working through that, like taking deep breaths before my turn, focusing not on the run but on the ball, um, is basically what I had to learn how to do. What, what skills or ability does a, a gymnast have to have uh, to be a real good vaulter? Um, to be a good vaulter, I think that you just have to be really powerful, um, be confident in like what you know how to do, um, be able to like hit the horse, um, and be able to like direct your momentum whatever way you want to go. So it's like really precise the way that you hit the board, and then basically from the board if you like don't hit it correctly then the rest of the vault's gonna not be as great as you want to be. You might not know this number off the top of your head but what would you estimate how many vaults you perform uh, during a week in practice? Um, probably during a week in practice I do about 20, 25-ish vaults. Um, it depends because not all of them are twisting vaults. Some of them are like layouts or timers just to um, you know, warm up and stuff, but probably on 25. Certainly. Well, the team now, we mentioned the long road trip. You're finally back home here on Friday. Uh, first off, how does it feel to know that you're going to be in Seattle here for a little while? Um, it actually feels really good. I think that our team needs like a little bit of a break from traveling and being on airplanes for a little bit. So it's going to feel really good to compete actually at home this meet and have all our friends and stuff supporting us. That's Friday night, uh, 7 o'clock at Sacramento State, a team you saw last week in Alaska Anchorage. Yes. Um, the home meet at Brown Pavilion, you've um, been there now twice before. Is, does it feel like home to you? Um, yeah, it's definitely starting to feel like home. I mean, you get to use your own training facilities and you go, come up and like, you know, all the faces in the crowds, so, like that feels really good. And especially like when you're able to perform to people that you know. Um, yeah. Well, tell us uh, where you're from. Um, I'm from Golden, Colorado. And uh, where is that? What's it? What's um, it Okay, Golden, Colorado, it's kind of close to Denver and Boulder, about 20 minutes from Denver, uh, 30 minutes from Boulder, those are like the two places that people know most, sure. and it's like in really close to the mountains, which is really nice, so lots of like different hiking, biking, outdoorsy activities. Sure. You were able to compete on this road trip uh, at Air Force, uh, were you able to have some uh, whole local support there for that meet for you? Um, actually, I wasn't able oh, to go yeah. to Air Force, but... Um, yeah, I heard it was kind of crazy a little bit. Jealous that I didn't get to see my teammates try to deal with the snow, but <laughs> yeah. One other thing you deal with being from Colorado there is the altitude. How much of a, of a difference is that competing at a higher altitude as a gymnast? Um, I 
I've heard that it's kind of hard, but um, for my teammates sometimes, like you get like really winded on the last pass of your full routine. But for me, just be hanging like raised with the high altitude, I don't really notice it to be honest with you. Um, when I go home, like it just feels normal, and then when I come back here. Certainly. Why did you choose to come to Seattle Pacific? Um, I chose to come to Seattle Pacific because they have a great nursing program up here, and one of my old teammates actually was on the gymnastics team here and loved it. And who was that? Aditi Colin Carney. Certainly, yep, she was very good. There have been several gymnasts from Colorado and they've all done very well here. Um, why do you suppose it's SPU is such a big draw for a Colorado gymnast? I think that SPU is such a big draw because it has so many opportunities and it's like a really small campus um, along with like it has the outdoorsy activities that you might be able to find in Colorado with the hiking, Mount Rainier, really close by, all the different um, like bikes, the lime bikes, so it's really cool. So I think that a lot of people want to come to Seattle just or Seattle Pacific in general because of like the homey community and then the outdoorsy activities. Great. And lastly, uh, you're not just a vault specialist, you compete in other events. What is your favorite event to compete? Um, I love doing vault in practice. I think it's really fun, but I definitely love doing floor in meets. I think that it's really fun to perform for everyone. Perfect. Well, thank you, Autumn, for your time. We appreciate it. Good luck Friday night. Thank you.